Hey y'all. I uh, just wanted to, uh, well, basically show you uh, my latest projects. First and foremost, cleaning up this damn garage. Uh, another uh, took delivery of that compressor uh, from Lowe's, uh, which, uh, what is it, a 60-gallon, two-stage, 3.7-horse, um, I don't know what it was, $550, got it delivered, uh, made a clanking noise, they're bringing out a new pump, sometime this week, I hope, uh, which is the week of, today is uh, June 3rd, 2019. I uh, just wanted to shoot this bench, not because it is just covered with crap, and uh, things get covered with crap around here because they are conveniently horizontal, and uh, I have a lot a lot of crap going on, so uh, stuff just ends up on benches, and I've been bad about putting stuff away. But I want to talk about the construction of this thing. So second, second garage I've had this in, uh, I put together three... Uh, two by tens, I believe they were, and, uh, I, uh, tied it together with some two by four on the end, a two by four in the middle, another two by four on the end, and the only legs are the four by four in the middle, and the four by four on this corner, and as you can see, I attached ledgers to the wall, tying into the studs, and back up under there, up over the top of that outboard that's stashed in there is the ledger that holds that end. And, uh, uh, of course, my little Irwin vice. I think it's an Irwin. Still a name on this thing? Yeah. Yeah, Irwin. Um, and, uh, this has made a very, very solid platform for knocking the snot out of things. And, uh, getting just about anything that I want to get done, done. The only downside is that uh, it's not a totally smooth surface because the uh, 2x10s, or were they 12s? I don't know. I think it was 10s. Yeah, they're not that big. I um, think it's only, uh, what do I have for measuring something around here? I don't know. I'm going to say 2x10. I think it's about... 28, 28 and a half inches wide or something like that, and 8 foot long, but if y'all want to make an inexpensive bench, that's the way to do it, and you can uh, put it in any location, just like that, uh, the only thing that I did was on the end where I was putting the vise, I doubled up the 2x4s, if you're going to put it against the wall, like opposite of this one, Throw another 2x4 on under the other end and mount your vise on the other end. Anyhow, uh, that was uh, pretty inexpensive, easy to build, easy to install, and solid as heck. Hopefully the next time that I uh, do a video of this thing, it'll be clean and I'll have a, uh, a backboard up, uh, maybe holding some tools and uh, some shelves above it. So I can store some of the crap that I've got laying on top of the bench, off of the bench, so I can actually use the bench. I end up using that trash can out there, just like I was earlier when I was messing around with that weed eater that, for some reason, doesn't want to start. So, uh, anyhow, a lot of mess to clean up in here and a lot of things to clean up, but I wanted to document what kind of mess I got going on here. Uh, let's see, that's our laundry room, that's a cabinet that's full of a bunch of stuff that mm, can probably actually even go out of here, a bunch of fishing rod tubes from getting them shipped, my little, uh, man cave workstation right there, uh, let's see, what else, uh, some shelves, uh, the garage fridge, uh, chest freezer, a bunch of my fishing rods, uh, cabinets full of my stuff, except for that middle one. That's got some, like, Persian rugs or something in it. Got to check into that one of these days. That table, that's not supposed to be there, but there again. It's a convenient horizontal surface. Uh, some empty toolboxes, bins, blah, blah, blah. One of my guitars. Uh, I forget why that's out here. I think that I'm, uh, oh, I'm applying pressure on the, uh, uh, bridge area of that guitar because when I bought it a while back it uh, was a bit bowed up so I've got some 
uh, an excess of rags stashed on top of the bridge and belly area of the uh, um, of the the bottom bout of that trying to press it down some been like that for some months but nothing good happens quickly got other guitars anyways and let's see uh, that's a Merc 150 in the corner Kyle it's over here uh, why I don't have it on top of there I don't know because I stop in the middle of projects and get working on something else Anyhow, a lot of stuff to clean out of here, and that compressor is going to go outside that door where there's a little 20-gallon compressor and replace that. So I've burned up about, oh, close to six minutes of what's going on. Oh, that uh, cherry picker. Um, I've got to replace a seal on the pump on that thing. Uh, last time that I tried to use it, it was just gushing out uh, uh, jack oil everywhere. Anyhow, uh, that's it for now. Just want to document this, especially for myself. But uh, if that bench uh, idea works out for uh, anyone else, great. Glad to hear it. Check back soon, and hopefully I've got a video of this place a bit more cleaned up. Thanks a lot for tuning in.